Carlin here with A Plus Insurance, back with another video, here to break down another coverage. Today we're talking about what is roadside assistance coverage. Roadside assistance coverage is typically a coverage option that covers your vehicle in the case of an emergency. Towing assistance. If you're broken down and you're needing a car towed to a nearby shop or to your house, this coverage option will help you bring your car back to your crib. If the streets have beaten your tire into submission, then flat tire service will either get a repair on your car or potentially get your flat tire enough air in order to get to where it needs to go so that you can get a new tire on. Locksmith service is another part of roadside assistance. Locksmith service can remake your key, reprogramming it to your specific vehicle if it is a smart lock. Many times all you'll need to do is call your local locksmith and then the insurance carrier will reimburse you. Lockout service is the next one. If you're locked out of your vehicle, lockout service will come to your vehicle and jimmy that door right open so that you can get to McDonald's on time. This is typically reimbursed as well. Fuel delivery is the next one. They'll get you enough gas to get you to the gas station. Has your battery failed and no one's stopping to give you a jump? Battery service will give you the power you need to get to the shop or to home. Once again, reimburse. I think you're seeing the trend here. A lot of these roadside assistance services, you're not gonna call Geico, you're not gonna call Progressive and then Flo's gonna come out or a Gecko's gonna come and say, hey, a sha sha sha, you want me to get your tire going? Here's some common questions when it comes to roadside service. Here's the first one. Can I purchase roadside assistance for an existing issue? So let's say your car, go, you, you get a flat tire and now you want roadside assistance to help with your current problem. Well, they will not. They will not assist with current issues, only future ones. The next question is sort of related to the last one. Why can't you purchase roadside assistance for a current issue? Well, roadside assistance coverage only covers losses after the beginning this coverage option has begun. Some carriers will even drop you if you have a claim too soon after the start of your policy due to the likelihood that the policy was bound because of a loss. Shady. The next question is, is there a 24 seven number that I can call if I have an emergency during after hours? It depends. Some carriers do provide that. Some carriers simply offer reimbursement for the cost of your roadside assistance needs. You just gotta see. You gotta ask. You gotta get the deets. You gotta ask the questions. Then you'll get your answers. How many times can you utilize roadside assistance services in a policy period? It depends on the carrier. Some will allow one, some will allow two and one reimbursement. You just have to find out from the specific carrier. That'll decide if it's even worth it. If you can get AAA for a year for the same cost as six months on an insurance policy, but you get less coverage assistance, then go with AAA or one of the other guys. Just being real. Why do I need full coverage if I just want towing on my clunker that isn't even worth paying a deductible of $1,000 on? That's a good point and something that I wanted to bring out. Some carriers will only let you put roadside assistance if you have full coverage. That's adding comprehensive and collision to your policy. What if you don't need it? What if you don't need full coverage on it? Well, there again, it depends on the carrier. Many carriers like Suncoast, Gainsco, National General, Progressive, Geico, they will let you put roadside assistance on there without full coverage. And the last question is, can I add roadside assistance now for future occurrences? The answer is yes, they want your money. That's all we got. Next time we'll talk about rental services.